I know this video is pretty specific, but this layover is becoming more common for more people, so I want to help you out if I can. If you're traveling anywhere in Asia, one of the most common layovers is Shanghai, and they can get pretty long. I recently had one around 17 hours long. In this video, I want to walk you through everything you should know about doing a layover in Shanghai if you're planning on leaving the airport with a transit visa. First of all, I want to say that if you've never been to Shanghai, don't worry, it's an awesome city and there's lots to do and see. You'll be fine and you'll have a great experience. First things first, fill out your entry card on the plane. This should be obvious, but I better say it anyway. Also, make sure you know at least the address of the place you'll be staying. You'll most likely land in Pudong International Airport. Once you exit the plane, look for the machines to scan your thumbprints. Every foreigner coming to China must do this unless it changes at some point in the future. Next, follow the signs that say 24 slash 144 hour transit visa. If you get confused, just ask the staff and they'll point you in the right direction. Once you find the booth for the transit visas, be ready to wait in line. At least when we went, it wasn't very fast, so just relax. No rush, you have plenty of time to see Shanghai. Once you make it through, look for a place to exchange money. You need at least 80 yuan for a round trip on the maglev. Next, just follow the signs for the maglev and be excited because this is the fastest train in the world going up to 300 kilometers per hour. Right by where you enter to get on the maglev, you'll see a window. You buy your ticket here. You can get a round trip ticket for 80 yuan if you're gonna be going and coming back the same day or you can buy a one-way ticket for 50 and then get another one-way when you come back. Get on the maglev and take it until you arrive at Long Yan Road Station. Here you can transfer to the normal subway. I recommend looking up which train you need to take to get to where you're staying before you enter Shanghai. Just come prepared. But if you want to get to one of the more interesting and busy parts of Shanghai, get on the green line and head to the People's Square Station. To get on the subway, you just have to find the ticketing machines. You will see them, they're pretty hard to miss. Just click on the button that says English or whichever language you want and then follow the steps. It really isn't that hard. We stayed on Nanjing Road, which I really do recommend you look into. It's a very cool area in the heart of Shanghai. If you're interested, I'll leave a link to the hotel we stayed in in the description. You should know that most of the websites and apps you're used to using are gonna be blocked in China. You can still use them with a VPN if you really want to, so maybe look into that. Also know that Uber doesn't work in China. At least it didn't when we were there. So if you need to take a taxi, try to get someone to translate the address of where you're staying into Chinese as they don't all speak English. We did also notice that everything seemed to close around 11 p.m. So don't plan to do much after that. And that's pretty much everything you need to know. Just take the train back to Long Yan Road and then take the maglev back to the airport when you're done. Give yourself a few hours to make the flight, obviously, and just enjoy it. Shanghai is a really cool city, and it's awesome that they offer this transit visa so you can see it even though you're on your way to another place. If you ever see a cheap plane ticket with a long layover in Shanghai, don't even think about it. Just buy it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this helps at least one person with this layover. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.